Hi, my name's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. It is October. <laughs> This is like my favorite time of the year. I just love October and autumn so much. And since I love these seasons, I tend to do a bunch of DIYs. I did loads of Halloween DIYs last year and I've done a few this year, but one of the DIYs I did bring back from last year is painting pumpkins. This is an alien pumpkin from Toy Story. But I've done a bunch of other ones. I've done like Winnie the Pooh now. I've also done a Baymax one. But one of the ones I did last year that's been highly requested for me to bring back this year is a Stitch pumpkin. If you didn't know, this is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He is so cute and he has like the perfect shape head for a pumpkin. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint your very own Stitch pumpkin. As you can tell, I'm using a fake pumpkin, but you can use a real pumpkin if you like, but it'll probably like rot <laughs> eventually and then you'll have to throw it away, which is kind of sad. So I recommend using fake pumpkins, but you can use whatever you like. But this is a really, really simple DIY and I'm going to show you guys everything you need and how to do it as we go along. But I am so so excited so let's get started. So let's get started with the things you're gonna need. So first things first you're gonna need a blank pumpkin. I'm just using this little pumpkin. I get mine in a multi-pack off Amazon. I think there's like 20 in a pack and they come in all different shapes and sizes. This doesn't have to be white. You can use just a regular pumpkin but as I mentioned at the beginning it might end up having to go in the bin which is a bit sad. You're also gonna need some paint. The first color you're gonna need is a blue paint. I'm using just a regular dark blue but if you have a light blue that works too. You're also gonna need a white acrylic paint for mixing and you're also gonna need a black pot Posca pen. Once again, you can just use black paint for this instead, but I quite like a Posca pen because they're super precise. You're also going to need a paintbrush. I'm using a De La Rowney graduate brush in the size 4, but you can use any paintbrush you like. You're also going to need some craft foam. This is to make stitches ears. You can use cardboard if you like, but I really like the finish of craft foam, but you're going to need the colours blue and pink. You're also going to need a pencil. I'm going to be using a mechanical pencil because that's my favourite, but you can just use any pencil. And we're down to the last two items. You're going to need some scissors to cut the foam or your cardboard a bit later, and you're also going to need some sort of glue. I'm going to be using super glue because that's my favourite but you can use any glue you and like. And now we've got all our supplies let's get started. Yay! So to begin you're going to want to grab your blank pumpkin and then you're going to want to pick your favourite side <laughs> and then you're going to want to grab a pencil and we're basically just going to start by sketching Stitch's face. I'm going to walk you through the whole sketching process. So to begin we're going to do like the outside of Stitch's eyes. We're keeping this relatively simple. It's going to be a simple Stitch face. So we're going to start with the left eye. As you can see I'm just sketching and the shape you're going to want to sketch for this is basically the shape of a clove of garlic. I couldn't think of another way to describe it, but as you can see, there's a flat side and then I've done like an almost off oval shape. <laughs> Once I'd finished one clove of garlic, I basically repeated the same step for the right eye, but as you can see, I've left like a whole section of the pumpkin in between both eyes. If you don't have these pumpkin sections on your pumpkin, I'd say it's around five centimeters between each eye. Once you're happy with your two garlic cloves, you're basically just gonna wanna repeat the same shape on the inside of the bigger garlic clove, but smaller. The smaller size is gonna be like Stitch's pupil and then the bigger bit is going to be in a light blue color. But you don't have to be too careful with this bit. You can just take your time and you can always just paint over any errors or rub it away and then start again. But once again, I repeated that same shape on the inside of the left eye once I was done with the right eye. Once you're done with the two eyes, we can then move on to paint Stitch's little nose. It's just going to be a little upside down triangle. Once again, there's no rules. You can just do it however you like. I'm doing mine with rounded edges and I'm making sure the point of the nose is in line with the bottom of the eyes. And at this point, you should be done sketching. Yay! So yours should look a little bit like this. You may have done it a little bit different and that's okay. Once you're happy with your sketch, you're gonna wanna grab your blue acrylic paint and we're gonna start by painting the whole of the pumpkin this blue. This step is definitely the longest and most time consuming part of this project, but it's definitely worth it. I ended up doing around two or three coats of paint, but it completely depends on what acrylic paint you're using. The only thing I recommend doing here is avoiding going inside our little sketch lines because we're gonna be painting those a slightly different color in a little but bit. you can just have fun with this and you can paint the stalk if you fancy. I actually ended up just leaving mine as is, but you can paint it however you like. Even though this is time consuming, I actually really enjoy this part, so I hope you guys do too. But eventually, once you're done painting, it should look a little bit like this. As you can see, I didn't paint the stalk as I mentioned, but the rest of it is completely covered. Once you're happy with your completely painted pumpkin, we can then move on to paint the outside of the eyes. For the outside of the eyes, you're gonna wanna use a light blue paint. I just used my dark blue and added a bit of white, but you can use any light blue that you have. If you have a pre-mixed light blue, that works too. But as you can see, I'm just painting like the larger garlic clove 
area, but the inner bit I'm gonna leave blank because we're gonna paint that black later. Once again, I'm just gonna repeat the process of doing one side, and then once I finish painting one side, I'm gonna move on to paint the other side. As you've probably noticed, I'm just working with one paintbrush this whole time. I actually didn't need to wash the paintbrush at all because the colors are so similar. Anyway, once you're done painting Stitch's eyes, you can then move on to paint Stitch's nose, which is basically just dark blue mixed with a bit of black. So as you can see, I'm just painting inside that little nose area. You know, the best thing about working with acrylic paint is if you make a mistake, it's so, so easy to fix with like the previous color or the color that's next to it because it's so forgiving. Eventually, once you're done painting Stitch's nose, you're gonna wanna grab your Posca pen or your black acrylic paint, and then you're gonna wanna paint Stitch's eyes. This part is the last part of the painting process. So all you're gonna wanna do is just paint in those little pupils using your black paint. Once again, I worked on one eye and then I moved on to paint the other eye. And eventually once I was done, I grabbed my foam and now we're gonna work on Stitch's ears. So first of all, you're gonna wanna start with your blue foam or your blue cardboard. And then you're gonna wanna start by sketching this shape. So we're basically just sketching Stitch's ears here. I decided to sketch mine on a piece of paper for you guys to see, but you can sketch straight onto your foam if you like. But I've gone ahead and broke down the sketch into four little strokes. So you're gonna wanna do an M shape followed by two small curves and a square. And then you're gonna wanna repeat that one more time since Stitch does have two ears. But once I was done sketching on a piece of paper, I repeated the same process onto my foam twice for Stitch's ears. And then once I was done, I grabbed my scissors and I started cutting out the ears. Eventually, once you've cut out both ears, they should look a little bit like this. They don't have to be perfect. They can both be a little bit different. Mine match quite well, actually. <laughs> Next, we're gonna work on the center of the ear, which is gonna be using our pink foam. And you're just gonna wanna grab that original sketch and we're gonna sketch out this shape inside the ear. Once again, you don't have to do this on a piece of paper beforehand. You can do it straight onto your foam if you're feeling super confident. But as we did with the blue foam, you're gonna wanna cut out two of these since we do have two ears. So something I decided to do was sketch the outer ear onto the foam too, so I could get the proportions for the center of the ear correct. You don't have to do this, but this was just something I like to do. But once I was done sketching the center of the ear, I then grabbed my scissors once again and I cut that out and I repeated that one more time for the second ear. And at this point, we're almost done. You should eventually then have two inner ears and two outer ears, so two pink bits and two blue bits. You're then gonna wanna grab your glue of choice. I'm using super glue and you're basically just gonna wanna put a little bit of glue in the center of the blue foam. You then just wanna grab your pink foam and just glue it to the blue foam like this and repeat it on both ears and eventually you'll have your two ears. Once you're happy with your two ears, you're gonna wanna grab your glue one more time because we're gonna be gluing the ears to the head. So you're just gonna wanna grab your glue and add it to that little square we added to the bottom of both ears and then we're just gonna attach them to the head pretty much. I recommend aligning the square with the top of the pupil on each side if that makes sense. But you're just gonna wanna hold the ear in place until your glue dries. Mine didn't take very long but it depends completely on what glue you decide to use but you're just gonna wanna repeat that on both sides and eventually you'll have your stitch pumpkin. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and are happy with your results. I think mine is super, super cute. And here is the finished pumpkin. As you can tell, it is slightly different to last year's pumpkin. I ended up doing a glossy top coat on this one, but I haven't on this one yet. I might end up doing it, but I haven't decided yet. But if you're interested in doing a glossy top coat yourself, this is the spray that I use. It is a crystal clear protective coat by Rust-Oleum. I think this is great, but I recommend using it outside because it's super potent. <laughs> but overall, I'm super, super happy with how mine turned out. I might end up selling this on Etsy because I don't think I really need two stitch pumpkins. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll pop a link at the top of the description if I do end up posting this on Etsy. But I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and I included all the tools you needed and all the instructions. If you guys attempted this, make sure to tag me over on Instagram because I just love seeing your little creations. Anyway, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you have any more suggestions for pumpkins I should paint or any ideas for Halloween YouTube videos you'd like to see me do this year, let me know. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday at five. Bye!